guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do an update for my single ladies and my man Matt that I am doing with some lovely ladies that will of course be linked down below in the description box if you haven't checked them out already. I have a visitor and he is very playful at the moment. I got a kitty cat. I am posting all about him on my Instagram at the moment. This is Felix. Felix. And he's a small kitten. Yeah, I love you. Yeah, I love you. I love you. I love you. But he, uh, he's very, very playful and he loves my hair. Um, night. Night. And he likes to bite my plants. So I'm just going to teach him he's not going to. So this is a collab with the lovely ladies as I just said. And we are panning a matte palette and then we are combining it with some single ladies which is single shadows. <laughs> and uh, in my case I work with mostly shimmers but for this update I'm actually going to rotate some mattes in. I'm not entirely happy about it but I'm running low of my singles that doesn't have pan because when I hit pan on a single shadow I'm going to switch it out and then when I have pan on all of them I'm going to try to finish off some scary but that is how I am doing this so for my man mat I am panning my Morphe 35OM palette and I'm going to insert a picture from last time but I don't know if you can see any difference except that I have a new pan and that is this shade right here. I have used that as my transition shade so I have gone uh, to that, that or that shade. Really haven't decided yet what I'm going to do but I'm definitely playing around. I'm using these two shades a lot in my crease and outer corner and I'm actually sometimes using that shade even though I have pan on it. So yeah, that is basically the main difference and then the dip has gotten very big in this shade right there. I have used that in my brows most of the month and I think I'm just going to do that and this dip is also very big. It is to set my liner. haven't done that in a while but I thought I would mention. So this has gotten some uh, oil dip. At least um, so I don't know what I can achieve by next update night Felix and that kitty so that is the matte palette I'm panning then on to the single ladies and I have some pans I'm really really excited about it so the first one I have is my Kiko eyeshadow and that is the purple one finally <laughs> I have been working some purple looks this month and they actually have been working and it hasn't been fading as much. It is the shade 54. I have been setting my eyeliner a lot. I have been using on my lower lash line. I have been using a more dense brush. Hi again. <laughs> and I have been using a more dense brush and then pack it on in onto my NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil in Milk and then it's fine. Come scan. That boy. But yeah, so I'm going to roll in another shadow for this one. And that is going to be a color just like it. Kind of. It is run from Makeup Geek in Anarchy. This one right here. So it is this shifting purple shade. Shifting from purple to kind of pink one. The next pan and that is in Cosmopolitan from Makeup Geek. And it is this orangey. <laughs> You're distracting me. <laughs> it is this orangey coverage shade from Makeup Geek. It's beautiful. Night. Ow. Ow. And for that I'm going to put in Morocco from Makeup Geek. I know this is a brick orangey color and then my Morphe palette has some oranges but not this orange so I thought it could match well with the more red orangey tones in the palette and the mid-toned oranges. Do more egg! Night. Stop some. You know. 
So yeah, I put in Morocco instead of Cosmopolitan and hopefully I can make a good combo with the green that I have in this project as well. It is Side of Olives from Colored Rain and I have uh, some wear on this as you may can see. I love this shadow so much. I have filmed uh, my go-to eye look with this shade uh, featuring my matte palette and I will have that up very soon. Then we have the last shadow in this project and that is a Benefit single shadow from a holiday kit called Call Me Buff. These are really really densely packed so that is why I'm not going to toss another one in uh, just yet. I could put in some champagne shade instead and a Toby one that is also from Benefit but I'm going to wait with that. I think these two shades are going to be so nice for the summertime. I took them with me on a summer holiday to Rhodes a few years ago and it was beautiful so I think that is what I'm going to do. So that is everything for this update. I'm going to see my kitty now because he really wants to be with me and play. So I'm going to play a little bit with him and then I'm going to edit this video and have it up for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed and give it a like if you did. Subscribe down below if you want to see more of him apparently and of my and my panning videos. I have a lot of pretty paints going on, palette bingos and empties and stuff like that. So I hope you guys are going to stick around for that and yeah, until my next video, please take care.